here we are with another week, another pro race. Uh, we're currently 7th on GDI. We are, let's see, 4,200. Yeah, we're way clear on GDI. No problems at all there. We'll play a few GDI games still to start things off. Um, just because, you know, that's what we're doing. Getting some, getting some games in. The main thing we need to do, though, is climb with our Nod. Because our Nod, we're at 4,200. And 20th is 4,050. So we're only 150 up on Nod. So we want to we want to get a few more medals on Nod. Maybe like another hundred. Once we get up to about here, this is the there's a big jump big gap here. So once we get to here, we're we're pretty safe, I think. But we're going to start out with some GDI. We'll play we'll play a few games of GDI. Um, we'll just play this Sandstorm Razorback deck just because you know we're trying to we're trying to climb a little bit. So we'll just play the broken stuff. Okay, so our first opponent is Silas. He's playing a Razorback deck as well. So it's going to be a Razorback Mirror. He has been opening missiles against me because I've been playing dogs all day today. So hopefully he does the same here. He doesn't. He must have seen the commander change and realized that I changed commander. He went Harvester first, which is kind of insane on middle oasis. Um, although it's very hard to get punished by GDI. GDI doesn't have a good rush unit, so it is, is reasonably safe. Although, if I had gone Pitbull first because I was insane, then I could have maybe punished him. So we're basically just going to chill here. He's going to push in with free riflemen, it looks like. That's fine. We'll just use free riflemen as well. Right, he's going fourth riflemen, so we're just gonna have a little bit of a rifle war. This is gonna end when one of us makes a razor back, basically, which I think is gonna be me. All right, so here comes the razor back. He might respond with pitbull. If he does, it's actually a mistake by him because um, pitbull. Do oh, he's got slingshots. Okay, slingshot is a good response. Pitbull is not. Pitbull doesn't do enough. To stop the razor back, but a slingshot is a good response. But on this map, slingshot's pretty underwhelming. Uh, as you can see, I'm just able to rotate around to a different pad and avoid the slingshot entirely. But obviously, now now that we get to, as we get into the mid game, his deck will be a little bit more favoured. Um, I have these sandstorms, which aren't going to be very useful because it's going to be very difficult to get to them on this map. So they're not going to be particularly useful. Uh, whereas he has Orca, which is very good on the map, so. I think he will be a little bit favoured here. As you can see, it's very, very easy for him to just rotate this orca around my harvester and get the uh, get the harvester killed. And there's not a lot I can do to stop it on this map. And we're going to have a really hard time getting to Sandstorm. Alright, so we're going to send a pitbull up here. Some missiles down here. And I'm a Liangro on this back pad. Oh. Ah. I don't know what happened up top. I didn't see what happened to my pit bull. I guess the Orca caught it. Yeah, that really hurt me. Alright, so we do want to try and get to the Sandstorm. That's our trump card, as it were. Alright, let's get a Sandstorm out. And then we're going to want a razor back to protect it. Let's get the sandstorm onto his harvester. And we'll get a Liang run behind it. As long as we can protect it from getting hit by this other orca whilst it heals up, then it should, uh, it should heal fully up. Yeah, as you can see, the sandstorm heals up nicely. Because uh, cause the Yang is broken. This next Orca will kill it. He does have a lot of spare money because of all the harvester kills he got. Uh, I don't think we have time for another Sandstorm, unfortunately. So, yeah, it's not looking great. This Orca is going to be a problem for me. Oh, nice. I killed it. That's a, that's a big deal. I could win us the missile, honestly. Yeah, it's looking pretty good now. All right, nice. Killing that Orca before it managed to get my uh, my Pitbull did actually win us that game. Okay, so we're on uh, the Bullseye we're against uh, Strongarm. Strongarm is very good on this map. We're going to go Rifles first. Take the middle position. All right, so we're just going to tie here. We'll actually win by a very small amount. But our Rifleman will be useless after we win this engagement. So we're just going to be looking to suicide them. 
Yeah, we're gonna send them in, get, get, get them to do as, as, as much as they can to the new fresh rifleman squad. We might kill a single model. No, we don't even manage that. Not overly surprising. Hopefully we did enough damage that we can walk in and still win, though. Looks like it's gonna be close. It might be like a tie. Alright, so we're gonna go Razorback, as always. I don't know what you do as GDI. He's gone APC. APC is a good unit against GDI. Uh, before Razorback came out, that's, this was the standard play with GDI mirrors, was to try and go APC as quickly as possible. Now that Razorback exists, it's not as good as it used to be. Because the Razorback deck is pretty good against the, the, the APC deck. Alright, so we're gonna block off his Pitbull from getting to our Razorback. Then we're gonna use our Pitbull to kill his APC. It'll take a while, but... Uh, it will win eventually. We need to move these rifles so they don't die to this turret. I misclicked there, that's annoying. Alright, it's not looking great for this missile. Need the Razorback to clean up this infantry so I can get my pit bulls over here. Oh, and Razorback, do your job. Ooh, that was close. Just about, just about managed it. Alright, so now we're gonna have some pit bull spam. Our pit bulls are plus two on his, so it's actually like insanely easy to win. And then we're gonna back up because we want to we want to healing drone these guys. We've got some da seriously damaged units here. We can make a lot of tip back effectively by healing them up. Got an APC, it's fine. We got a mohawk. We'll just let these units heal up uh, because we're playing sandstorm. Any additional any additional economy we can effectively uh, generate via Liangro is insane because it gets us to our tech unit. Alright, so we're getting close to the missile firing. Now is the point at which we actually need to start focusing on the pads. So we'll grab this, uh, we'll grab a sandstorm as well. Send the mohawk over here, get the sandstorm onto the pads, and then that should be game. We just need this razor back to kill this guy and move the sandstorm to blossom, we should win. And there it is. Mission accomplished. Three, Alright, so we're up against Les QQ. This guy Three, likes to play a uh, Basilisk Confessor deck. So he's going to be trying to go double harvester. So we're going to go rifles first and get the missile charging. We'll let him stand on the pad. And we'll go on the pad when he's not on it. We'll back up. Basically keep doing this nonsense. So it's always charging. And then we'll go here so we're on two pads. Get off this one. We basically just do this stupid dance over and over to try and keep the missiles charging. And then we're just gonna go over into Razorback to deal with these uh deal with these militants. As you could, you saw his second harvester spawn there. Now he does have stealth tanks, so he's not just he's not just gonna auto lose to Razorbacks. So it's important that we create a wall of units to prevent the stealth tank from catching the uh the Razorback. Here comes the stealth tank. So as you can see, we hide behind our infantry. And we just uh, we just rotate over the top of the missiles. Uh oh, uh, Liangro in this back pad. Should be an easy missile here. Just block this guy. Yeah, there it is. All right, cool. And then we run away with the razor back. Don't want to let his stealth tank catch it. Oh, he's catching up. Oh, he did manage to catch it with the boost. All right, so he's got Chuggy in the deck. Um, I think that's that's yeah that's normal for him. He plays he plays rifle rifle laser chuggy stealth tank uh, double tech. So again, we just want to keep these pads charging as much as possible. This deck is actually pretty good against ours because the stealth tank one shots all of my uh, all my vehicles and air. Oh, I don't know about this boost. Here comes the confessor. I don't actually know how we do against Confessor, to be honest with you. I'm not sure how Razorback does against it. I think not great. Because it, it is an aircraft. Although Confessors are not that good, so maybe... Maybe... The, oh no, the, the, Razorback, the Razorback wrecks Confessor. That's actually really sad. Confessor is not very good at all against Razorback. Alright, well, the anger on this back pad. Need to buy some time against this Confessor. Now we just block with this missile and we win. Very nice. Objective 
Objective complete. All right, so we're up against Schrodinger's cats, but with seven from a big fan of, obviously. On dogs first, so we're gonna micro our rifles to make sure the dogs can't block our harvester. Then we're gonna get a single missile trooper to help fight these dogs. Can't really fight dogs with missiles anymore, like since dogs got that buff. You can fight them 1v1, but if you spam missiles and your opponent spams dogs, you're gonna lose. All right, so we've got a MLR, uh, MSV. I'm gonna go double harvest it because of this. Uh, I want to be able to spam spam units because his his units are gonna be more efficient than mine with the MSV boost. Oh, he's got double harvester as well. Okay, interesting. So we'll go start harassing his harvesters. And we'll uh, we'll tech switch into air now. The trick to beating MSV decks is generally just to keep tech switching, so that they're forced to keep making different types of units. So we'll also make a pit bull next, because he's going to go slingshot after this. There's the slingshot, so we run the mohawk away, and then the pit bull. All right, we'll send back in the mohawk with the pit bull support. We should easily kill the slingshot. Yeah, there we go. Takes another slingshot, that's fine. And we'll just get a sandstorm. I'll need to make something pretty powerful to, to beat this sandstorm here. I don't think MLRS is going to cut it, it's not going to be quick enough at all. And yeah, we just block it. Oh, don't didn't get the block. Well, there's an iron cannon. That's awkward. Doesn't kill sandstorm, of course, because sandstorm is insane. And we win easily. victorious Three, two, one. okay we're up against silas this is close to a mirror uh this time we're on a better map for me a lot better map in fact cracked ice we can definitely get to our tech but we probably don't want to charge the missiles um because we want to get to sandstorms i don't think i'm not 100 percent sure what his last unit is i know he's playing rifle missile pit bull razorback orca don't know exactly what the last unit is he looks pretty content to not charge as well. He looks like he wants to be stalling, which I'm surprised by. But I think he should know I have Sandstorm in my deck. Yeah, I'm, like I say, I'm not certain what his last unit is, so I don't actually know who's favoured in the late game. Right, let's get the Razorback. I think I have to assume that against a Razorback, Razorback deck, I'm probably going to be favoured with Sandstorms. Right, so he also goes Razorback, which makes sense because you can't really respond to Razorback with anything else. I'm going to go Pitbull. Face down his Razorback. I'll get some rifles just to get over here. Okay, so it looks like we're going to take first missile pretty easily here. I would like to keep this Razorback alive if possible. Send it back to my back to somewhere safe and try and heal it up. All right, looks like we do get the razor back safe. I just lay angry on that up. Put aside this rifleman as well. And we'll get a mohawk because he has these pit bulls. All right, so our razor back is healed up nicely. Send that back in. And we really want to go for... Long shot, sure. We really want to go for a sandstorm now. Alright, so get sandstorm, send it over here. Ah, uh, move Mohawk. Alright, the Mohawk lives. Alright, we're going to lose this missile. That's fine. Can't really be avoided given this scenario we were in there. I, like, I could have avoided it if I'd played better, but I misplayed and got myself into a spot where I couldn't do anything about it. Alright, so now the plan is going to be... Sandstorm plus Leandro and plus Razorbacks. Alright, 
As you can see, Sandstorm just kind of shreds his air. Then we'll Le oh no, I put Leandro next to the thing shot. Okay, that was a big misplay as well. But it's okay, we have uh, we have two two Sandstorms on pads now. So we should be good. Keep making Sandstorms. I don't think he can beat infinite Sandstorms. Yeah, Sandstorm, Sandstorm very good. I think he made a misplay by uh, stalling. I don't, I don't think his deck is favoured in the late game. I think mine is definitely favoured with the Sandstorm. Okay, so now we are well clear on GDI. Um, just wanted to have some GDI footage in here. But yeah, we're clearly clearly very safe on GDI, so we're going to move on to Nod now. We're going to be playing the uh, Stealth Tank deck again with, uh, with, with Seth, I think. From God to Kane. We might we might try mixing it up a little. Uh, I don't really know what else to play though because I don't want to play Shades and almost every deck loses to Shade if you're playing Nod. So there aren't, there aren't a lot of options. This one at least is quite good against Razorback, so we're going to try this one out. All right, so we're in a Nod mirror. We're going to open with Wheels. New we'll go Harvester when we see Barracks. Barracks can't really pressure us. Right, so interestingly, he's gone lasers before Harvester here. We're going to stall the missile a little bit. Looks like he's aggressively charging. That's another reason to stall. If your opponent wants to charge, then, you know, often indicates that you don't want to charge. Okay. Pretty easy so far. Nuke and his champ was unjustly banned and donated 10k bits. What a hero. Alright, we get the fanatics on these rifles, get our bikes on his bikes. Move this fanatic up here to deal with this laser troop. All right, so our bikes easily kill his bikes. Might be because of the plus one level. I think that makes quite a big difference now since the bike change. Could be a pretty easy missile here. I could use drill pod to secure it, but I think we're going to win it anyway, so there's no real reason to use the Tiberium. All right, cool. So we do take that missile easily. Go after his harvester. Lasers will back up. All right, chemical buggy. So we'll go stealth tank for that. And didn't quite manage to run it down. Come on, stealth tank. There we go. Get a fresh stealth tank. Probably gonna make another chemical buggy here. Right now we're drill pod. And that should be game. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're gonna open Scout, although we don't really need to against GDI. I'm gonna go Harvester. The opponent's got a harvester. We'll go and see what building he builds. He's got a war factory. Okay, so we're going to wait and see what unit he makes. So that will impact what we make. We don't really want to make bikes against pit bulls. Um, that's a losing matchup for the bikes, I think. I'm just going to go straight into lasers here. I want to keep the pad charging. Uh, my deck is not good in the late game, I don't think. So I'm generally willing to believe that my opponent has the advantage the later the game goes. So I do want to charge. I'm going to back up like this. We're going to make this nice little wall here. All right, so he's got an MLRS for some reason. Interesting. We'll just pull our wheels back. Right, the missile's about to fire. And he shouldn't be able to stop us from firing it. Yep, there we go. Very easy. All right, so because he's got an MLRS so early, I'm just going to go straight into a Banshee. Unit offline. Unit ready. 
So I'm gonna have the wheels tank for it. Oh, it didn't work. Oh well. I got a second Banshee. If he's only gonna use Pitbulls, Banshees beat them 1v1, so I can just stack up my Banshees. Yeah, he's gonna need something else other than just Banshees if he wants to stop me killing this MLRS. Alright, cool. So we do take the MLRS. Uh, sorry, he needs something other than Pitbulls, is what I meant to say. I think I said he needs something other than Banshees. But anyway, we take that missile. We take that missile easily, we kill the MLRS. Not a problem. My Banshee's also plus two on his uh, Pitbulls, so that's a pretty big deal. And then we'll just drill pod as the missile's about to fire. Whoops. Couldn't drill pod there for some reason, I guess, because there was a Talon on the tile. But I've never seen that happen before. I guess you could find out where your opponent's units are. Like trying to spawn a drill pod somewhere, they had a unit. Anyway, uh, yeah, win easy win there. Alright, so we're up against the same guy. We know he's not going to have any aggressive start, so we're going to go Harvester. And then we'll go wheels. So he's probably going to go pitbull first again. No, interestingly, he's gone rifles first this time. He's going to pitbull now, so we're just going to wait. Might just go straight for a stealth tank. It's very expensive, but it'll one shot this pitbull if I can get close to it. Alright, we're gonna try to go and stealth tank here. Gonna uh, block so he can pitbull. There we go, nice. So we do get nice, just snipe the pitbull. Here come ooh, jump jets, don't they? Yeah, those in the deck. Alright, so we're gonna wanna go Fanatics as quickly as possible. This could be a problem here. Need this stealth tank to go take out this pitbull. Now I'll get wheels to go down here. Alright, so we're gonna lose this stealth tank. That was a unwise investment in retrospect. But hopefully we buy ourselves enough time to win this missile. Alright, we do take out the jump jets, that's nice. Those fanatics should hold long enough. Yeah, they do. Cool. Alright, so we get that missile. And we're probably just gonna want some lasers. I don't want to get a stealth tank yet because it's a bit pricey. I just want to use lasers and wheels for now. Now he's got the MRS, we're going to need to go into the Banshee again, I think. Alright, so we take out the MRS, no problem. Stealth tank. Now we should be able to, yeah, there, if we micro the stealth, we didn't do it there, but if you micro the stealth tank properly, you can fire two missiles at each, um, two missiles at each, uh, what are they called? Talon, and that'll kill them. This because the stealth tank actually overfires slightly and fires an extra shot that it doesn't need to. But if you can micro it properly, you can kill two talons with one stealth tank volley. But I missed. Uh, I didn't do it there. All right, so it looks like we should win this missile. Hmm. Not clear if the wheel's going to beat that jump jet. Okay, just about does. If that wins us the missile, then cool. All right, nice. Okay, so we're going up against Maximus. Maximus plays, um, basically just plays uh, Orca, Talon, Spam as his primary strategy with missile support and a late game Wolverine splash. I'm pretty sure he doesn't play, um, reasonably sure he doesn't play pit bulls, so bikes are very good against him. He just uses Orcas to fight bikes. Interestingly, he's not building anything here. He might just be going straight into Orca. We're going to get a bike squadron ready in case he does go Orca. Very surprised to see him make nothing. I think he might just be going straight Orca. I'm going to move the bikes up so if he's... Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we want to ensure that we get our bikes to shoot his Orca. Unfortunately, it looks like we managed to miss it. But he... By going straight into Orca, jump jets. Yeah, that's his last unit. Alright, so by going jump straight into Orca, he's just conceded the first missile, basically. Because it costs way too much for him to tech switch into the Orca. So we're going to want to go, um, we're going to want to go Banshee against this guy. Okay, 
Unit ready. Unit offline. He's gonna try and use, he uses talons to fight banshees because he doesn't have anything else. So we need to use bike support for our banshees. And these boosted bikes are gonna clean up these uh talons pretty easily, I think. I think I've got double orca. We need drill pod here. Alright, block in there. Get on this pad and we should win. Oh, there it is. You are victorious. Alright, we're gonna go wheels first, see if this guy's trying to rush us. Oh, harvester, so we'll make harvester. He's opened lasers, so we'll back up and wait for a second wheel. Alright, so he's gone double laser, we just save for uh, fanatics here. Then we'll push up the fanatics with the wheels. Some rifles, that's fine. Clean those up nicely. Fanatics, no problem. If he kills the fanatic, we get these boosted wheels as well. Alright, laser drone. Oh. We're against laser drones, we need to back up. Probably just need to go for. Um, Banshee, to be honest with you. I don't really have anything that's great against uh, laser drones. Oops, turn on sticky keys there. Alright, so we are pop capped a little bit. This is annoying. I think we're going to struggle to win this missile. Although he he's, looks like he might just let us have it. He's going after our harvester. Come on, flame this move, move, move. No, we didn't get it. Oh, and a very early flame tank. That's not good for me. So yeah, we, we got pop capped there. We basically just won the early engagements too much. <laughs> and then we just got pop capped because we, we won all of our early engagements. And that meant he could just spam laser drones and there's nothing we could do about it. Which happens surprisingly often in rivals, actually. Wow, and cyborgs as well. I think we're dead here. Cyborg flame tank already. Yeah, we're super dead. I'm going to be very surprised if we manage to win this one. Okay, well we managed to steal a missile there. Pretty good. I don't know how we deal with these flame tanks though. They're kind of a huge problem. I should just keep getting these cheeky uh, health tank volleys on them, I guess. What's over here? Is it laser drones? Yeah. Yeah, these flame tanks are definitely the problem. They just kill our infantry so fast. As long as we can keep taking out the flame tanks, though, we can win. The cyborgs are actually not that big a deal. Oh, I need to get this guy over here. Oh, we're looking to actually take it. Oh, it's going to be close. Hey, all right. Surprised we won that one. Very nice. Objective complete. Three, two, one. New objective. 
Alright, we're up against Prote now. We're gonna go wheels first to scout. We're gonna harvester, see what he's up to. He's got missiles first, sure. We're gonna get second wheel, try and get a 2v1. Right, so we do get a 2v1. His new missiles aren't gonna arrive in time, I think. Matchup should go pretty well for me. Yeah, it's okay. So we traded our wheel for a missile, which is pretty good. We are gonna. He's spamming missiles now, so we're going to go fanatics. Hopefully, he doesn't have razor back. Obviously, if he has razor back, then we can't. Uh, we can't fight it with fanatics. We're going to need a stealth tank if he has razor back. All right, so he's got militants. That's good for me. Another fanatic. Try and get these wheels over here. Add. All right, cool. So let's say we're going to take first missile. There is Razorback, but it's too late. We do take first missile. Need to run these guys away because they're still full hit points. I don't want to lose them. And we get a stealth tank. Take out the Razorback. Uh, because of the fanatic boost, it's going to reload pretty quickly. Maybe get this Mohawk as well. Nice. We get the Mohawk as well. That's excellent. So this Razorback, this, this stealth tank has now made its cost back already, and it's still full hit points. So that's really good. Basically, we're just looking to... I oh, just surrenders because the stealth tank micro is too strong. Mission accomplished. Nice. All right. So with those wins, we're now ninth on Nod. We have uh, about 4,300 medals, roughly. So yeah, we're up. We're up uh, 200, 240-ish. 210 sorry 210 which should be should be plenty so uh i think we're pretty safe with the race now that'll be the end of the race video hope you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you all next time